not a big deal. AOV output two, that special look that we made, boom, there it is. And then AOV output three should be nothing because I technically did not connect it up. So there it is the power of the compositor. So again, overall, the downsides of this is it's just node madness, right? It, it's already node. But that small downside is really not that big of a problem. Once you group your, your nodes properly and have nice, good, tidy workflow, it shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, after spending a day inside of Octane's compositor, I'd say it's a solid tool for quick post work and light adjustments. It's not replacing DaVinci Resolve or Fusion anytime soon. But if you want to stay inside of Blender and keep things fast, it's a really underrated part of Octane that I think most artists should give a try. Now, if you want to actually start using Blender Octane yourself, there is something new you should know. You no longer need Octane standalone anymore. Octane does have an add-on that is in beta and it works with normal Blender installs, even if you're using Blender 4.5. You can install it just like any other add-on. In my next video, I'll show you exactly how to download it, set it up, and start rendering with Octane inside of Vanilla Blender. 